Help! Help! Hey, nobody's gonna help you. Help, please, please. No. This guy's a lunatic. Help! Look, nobody's gonna help you. All right? We're gonna call the police. <laughs> okay? Just Honey, calm. help, please. Calm, calm down. Your honey's not gonna help you. All right. Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay, guys. Teach me grappling. We got 100 comments. We actually got closer to 200. Um, welcome back, guys. Breaking down the crucifix. Um, how does this position happen? So there's, there's a few things I wanna talk about. Entries, how does it happen? Attacks from the crucifix, things to attack with. And then three, escapes, how to deal with it. This is why so many people, guys, we need to train. Um, it doesn't matter whether you're in law enforcement or you're just a regular Joe. If you guys want to be able to not look like a fool, as I said in the last video, not be a screaming, whining child in a grown man's body, you need to learn how to do jujitsu, wrestling, catch wrestling, I don't care what it is you do, you need to train martial arts, you need to learn. Okay, so check this out. All right, I've got Chance Rich here, by the way. Chance Rich, guys. All right, long time student, he's been with me since he was like seven years old, he's turning 23 this year, so pretty cool. Um, all right, first one, we're gonna talk about, we're gonna go back in time to Gary Goodridge and Paul Herrera. Paul Herrera was a great wrestler, um, went out, he was undersized against Gary, Gary Goodridge, explosive athlete, Gary Goodridge, arm wrestler, just huge, huge, massive dude, and he made a big mistake. He shot a fireman's carry, but he wasn't able to throw Gary Goodridge. He caught a fireman's carry, and as it happened, Gary Goodridge basically just controlled the arm, and you notice his hand is between my leg, like a dummy, and then he just locked it and fell back. You guys see this? Now once this is here, see my left hand? I just bring my left hand inside, control his wrist, or you could cup on the shoulder, and then just elbow to death Paul Herrera's head. It was just bouncing and bouncing and bouncing, and he was completely out. So. Guys, that was one of the most famous crucifixes. Um, there is a crucifix that I want to distinguish from. This is the crucifix from the back. It's the crucifix from like back control or when you're behind someone. Don't confuse this crucifix with the ground and pound crucifix where you're here and you're pounding a guy from here. This is also a good crucifix. It's a different crucifix. Today we're talking about the back control crucifix. So. How else am I gonna get here? Off of my fireman's carry? You know, if he goes a fireman's carry, yeah, it's possible. Anytime a guy shoots and puts his arm between your legs, so if he shoots and his arm is between my legs, normal stuff, we wanna sprawl, okay, so he doesn't take us down right away. See how um, I usually teach like posting on the head. Over here, you he could be pulling up on the waist, the chest. It could be going ankle, could be going butt. I'm pushing right here, but why sprawl anymore? I've already sprawled. I've done my job of sprawling. If I stay here, we're gonna be in a wrestling match on who can get control. You guys already have it. He's got your leg, look. Give it to him, he wants it, give it to him. Give him the other knee. So you see, instead of sprawling, he like just kind of pulling my leg chats. I just give it to him and I cave in. A wrestler will probably get excited. He'll either grab the other leg, like this, because there's a move in wrestling called the Peterson, where he grabs my wrist, he rolls me over, and he's got me on my back. See, ooh, he's got his own elbows. Guys, this is called the Peterson. But the thing about the Peterson, as I've shown before on my channel, it's very hard to control when the fight is on because of the factor of a choke. While he's trying to pin me, he holds me tight, I just attack his neck, and now he realizes I have to defend, and now I hold his wrist, and then we have a choke. So there comes our first attack. So again, let's go back to the setup. He goes for any type, it's, we, in wrestling we call it a high crotch. His head's on the outside. So a head outside single, boom, I'm right here. I just go straight up. See, I go perpendicular. I don't care if he stays on this one or if he goes to the other one. I really don't care. It's still the same to me. I'm gonna grab his wrist on the far side, okay? Before he rolls you, if he's gonna try to roll for a Peterson, and he's gonna try to trap it and drop his left side, I'm gonna fall to my right side and get him right here. 
Now, the secret of finishing right here, it's much, much better to keep him right where Chance is right now. I, I, like if Chance wants to use his left hand, go ahead, try it. He's really hard. If he tries to like roll the wrist like that, even if I lose the, the wrist, I got the shoulder. You know where his hand's gonna be? It's gonna come back because he has to worry about his neck. So every time he grabs for the, the hand, I just go right back to his wrist. If he rolls it, no problem. See how that grip looks? And in that video you watched of the guy screaming for help, you, you would have seen this hand, every time the guy tries to like roll his hand out, this guy could just open the hand like this and every time his hand comes in, he could grab it again. And if I ever lost complete control, I could just cup the shoulder and pull like this until the hand comes back and then you'll get it again. So this side, what am I talking about? This is the position to finish. This is what I call the dead zone. He, he can't put his chin down. Guys, he'll tuck his chin as much as he wants. He can squeeze it hard, but look at how easy this is. My radius just scrapes, okay? You can get in position uh, to see this a little bit closer. Go ahead and tuck your chin. Go ahead, John, let's bring it in. You gotta bring in this in, look at this. My wrist goes right under there, and I scrape and pick it up, and I've got it. If Chance tries to jump over me, and get to the other side. I'm leaning in him, onto him like this on my side. This exposes his neck. If I let him come over to here, let's bring the camera around. And we're over here. He can tuck his chin down. And then it becomes a lot harder. I can still get him, but it's a little bit harder. He slides down and it's hard to get the neck. Okay? So what we always want to do is we want to pull him back up this way if we want the choke. Now look at the leg configuration. I have it with the left leg. We don't want this. We want to switch it to the right leg in this case so that we have him like this, just like the gentleman who was screaming for help was trapped with the top leg control. This is called top leg control. This one's called bottom leg control. Bottom leg control is good for different reasons, but top leg control is best when it comes to attacking this arm. Now watch, he hides his chin, he tries to slide down, and now watch what I do. I start to attack his elbow with my knee, my knee rainbows towards the mat, and that makes him do a bridge. It's automatic. He's gonna bridge because he wants to protect his chin, right? But when he feels the pressure of the arm, he cares more about the arm. And then you pull him right up into the choke. Now we've got two or three chokes here. We've got the no, just one arm choke. We grab the shoulder and retract the elbow. That's one. We've also got the palm to palm. We take this one out and we lock palm to palm. And then we've also got the full rear naked, where we go all the way here. They're all great. But again, ideally, I don't want him over here. I would rather have him flipped over to the other side. Now, it can be hard to make a guy flip, and I don't need to, because all I need is his neck exposed. However, for safety, never let him get you in that position, because that's how he might get out. So the moment he goes for your leg, and he's in this position, I'm always gonna drop right here. Watch, I'm grabbing the wrist and I'm dropping my shoulder and his neck over to here. This keeps me safe and it makes for an easy choke. I don't wanna do a choke where the, the floor is in the way. Imagine out on concrete, I don't wanna be able to take this hand out and have friction. So right now, if I wanted the choke, I just pull this out and lock. If he tries to jump over my body, it's really hard. See that? I'll keep him right here. Over here, go ahead, jump over. He can slide down, and now if I want to get the choke, my own arm is stuck. The more I try to pull it out, you know, the hard concrete's in the way, if you guys are out on the street, it's really, it's really cumbersome. Great for control, right? We can call the police from here, okay? I can also not worry about the choke. I could abandon it and come this way and go to the Kimura grip. If you guys really want to finish the Kimura, take this hand, put it on the mat, hip escape, start to build up, pass over his head, and now you have a nice Kimura, okay? So that's a good finish. That's your bad shoulder, huh? Yeah, no, it's all right. All right, so most of the time you're gonna see it from leg attacks, but you also have, what about if we put it in? What if he's in the turtle position like this, and he's just chilling out right here? Guys, anytime there's a little hole, you can stab one of your heels right in there. Take your heel, push it through, and you have the, the crucifix position started up. See that? Go in for the wrist, cave in and into the dead zone, and catch them right here, okay? So we've got chokes, 
okay? The one arm, the palm to palm, and the full rear naked. If he flips over, okay, we can switch top leg control, bring him this way and hold him here. Now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm not even gonna choke him. I'm just gonna keep Chance right where he is. Even though he wants to bridge, I'm gonna say, nah, nah, nah. I'm just gonna keep him there and get the arm bar tap. So we could make the arm bar tap. Usually I don't reckon, uh, recommend this. You use the arm bar as the threat to get the choke because the choke is the better submission overall. Okay, uh, uh, breaking a guy's arm is painful, but it's better to put, a, put somebody to sleep. It's a more surefire way to get even the biggest and strongest guys in the world, okay? Yeah, but there's so many moves here, so many funky moves. Sometimes guys will lock their hands. I've had that happen. I reach up, I grab their wrist, I triangle right here, and I grab that wrist, and then I do a little forearm crush, okay? I'm flexing, dorsiflexing my, my uh, foot, and then my shin bone is going into his radius. This will break the forearm. If he stays locked and he's not trying to defend it, it'll, it'll, it'll definitely break. He'll open up to try to separate your grips. Like he'll try to fight my grips. And then now I got his hand away from his grip and now I can freely choke him. Okay, right there. Okay, so we've got the arm bar. If you're in the south position or the lower leg position like this, I've got the reverse homo plata. Once I'm here, guys, I was attacking for the choke, but his chin was down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the cross wrist, okay? I'm gonna take my hand out, bring it over to the other side. As Chance tries to move, he can't go left, he can't go right, can't sit up, can't bridge. I'm gonna grab this far arm, pulse my hand, start to sit up, and now we have a Kimura, or what we call the reverse Moplata. So you see what the leg is doing. Now I just hip heist. So as he tries to move, he can't, and then I lift my butt, and hip heist, and that's gonna break the shoulder the other way, okay? So there's lots of attacks from the crucifix, but the main attacks is the choke, the arm bar, and beating the crap out of him. So uh, some people in the comment section said this, that guy's lucky that he didn't just go full Gary Goodrich, you know, but again, the guy I'm sure that was controlling him wasn't looking for a lawsuit, he was just looking to control an out of control dude and wait for the cops, so that's what it sounded like. Now I don't know who is the bad guy in this, but it certainly sounds like the guy who was skilled, who controlled the crucifix, was most likely the good guy. Okay, um, now, how do you get out, Chance? We gotta show him how to get out. Okay, there's lots of ways of getting out. A um, Couple things I wanna talk about. Don't put your hand between the legs. Guys, if, if I have his leg and I, I, I knock him to his butt like this, all he has to do is go to my wrist like he's doing right now. You guys see why this is not smart for me? If he starts digging the neck right now, it's gonna force the choke. Even if I flip over, I'm in dangerous trouble, okay? Now, remember what I said, I called that the dead zone. I don't wanna be there. If I'm here and I do get trapped, there's two basic ideas I want you guys to, to focus on. He's got my wrist. I can't get out of this. This is not gonna happen very easily. You can try, but if he's smart, he's gonna control it, okay? And he might choke you, right? So once I'm here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take his top leg. He's got top leg control, which is good for arm bar, and it's good for manipulation, right, of the arm to expose my neck. So the first thing I have to do is I have to grab the floor with my feet. So I'm gonna grab the floor, and I'm gonna pull my butt that way. So I am gonna slide down. Now he's gonna try to make my arm like go like that. So I have to grab his leg and pull it. I have to pull his leg this way, okay? I want his hips like this. If he can turn his hips, that's gonna affect my arm and it's gonna eventually affect my neck. So that's bad news. So watch what I do. Just tighten up a little bit. So now what I'm gonna do is grab the floor. I'm gonna pull and pull his leg. Now, once I do that, I'm gonna take my arm and put it like, like as if I'm giving an Americana. So I'm gonna turn my hand like this, okay? So I turn my thumb. And now he has a knee pinch to hold me. So as he has a knee pinch, I'm gonna start sliding down, looking towards my right. So I take my head, I look into the choke. So if he's going for the choke, I look in. This makes it very hard for him to squeeze, go ahead and squeeze my neck. Squeeze, yeah, it's not gonna work. I keep sliding down and I pull my head all the way out. Now remember guys, don't give him the Kimura. If he grabs a Kimura, straighten out your arm. So he might have it. But once you're here, you're gonna be moving in this direction, pulling your elbow out, 
And if he does try to come up on top, you block. Yeah, uh, go ahead, just get up on top anyway. And I'm turning in this direction, clearing it out and recovering the guard. Yes, you're still in a potential Kimura, but we have to know how to slide ourselves out. We cannot sit there and scream for help. It's not gonna work. Okay, so I go for the, cruise, uh, the leg again. This time, I get in this kind of crucifix. One of the guys grabbing here. I, maybe I made this mistake. And I roll chance over, lower leg control. You guys see that lower leg control? He's got the low leg controlling my arm. I cannot slide down. This would be causing more trouble to my shoulder and he would get that reverse omoplata move. So what we wanna do instead, we're gonna do the opposite. He can be going for a choke, it's perfectly okay. I'm gonna go up and towards his head. As I do that, I'm retracting my arm like a limp arm. I'm turning my thumb down and as he's trying to choke a little bit, I look this way, pull it out. All this pressure on Chance makes it very hard. If he tries to choke me right now, I look this way, peel the grip, turn back in. You see my right hand? I went under the leg and now he can't finish and he won't stay behind me. I'll back bridge and come on top. Okay, one more time on this defense. So he's got low leg control. Pay attention to what kind of control they have. He's got my wrist. He's got the choke. I look, he starts to squeeze. I limp arm out, block. Don't allow hooks. Try to get the hooks. See how I'm going here? Now watch, right hand goes under the near leg, this leg. Don't put it back between, you're back in a crucifix. Don't do that. I wanna go under the leg, and now no matter what, even if he tries to go on top of me, no problem. If he goes on top, you're still okay. At least you're not getting choked. And then when he gets up, you guys will get your game going, and boom, put him in a, in a leg lock, go from there, or get a sweep going, something, okay? So there's my favorite uh, first two uh, defenses. You're either gonna be going up or you're gonna be sliding down, okay? These kind of moves are, are probably the best thing to teach you. Yes, there's fancy stuff, there's guys flipping over, there's things like that, like you'll see from the, the first move, sometimes you'll see a guy hit a backward roll. So maybe I'm in a crucifix, he drops into the crucifix, and I'm here. You'll see guys slide down, reach up here, grab onto the head, and then back and roll and land up on top. When you see that kind of move happen, it's spectacular. But again, it's super fancy. Not totally necessary, but you do need to know at least how to get your arm out and then get back to a guard or separate, okay? Um, this is video is gonna be getting pretty long. I, I think I, I went over some of the entries. There are always gonna be more entries, guys. Anytime a guy puts his hand between the legs, you're gonna see this. Um, it, it's a possibility. There's a lot of fun, funky stuff. I can't wait to go over more on another video. I've got some advanced entries of Crucifix that I love. Um, so, and, and you guys, I have a Crucifix series on the, on the channel years back. I don't remember how old it is, but I know it's several years ago. You guys can tune into that. There's several videos and there's more stuff in there. Chance, what do you think? I know I'm talking a lot. Um, no, it's a really effective move. I mean, it's hard, you know, especially when you're caught in it. It's real tough to kind of get out of, but you know, especially, you know, the ones you just showed right there, you, there's nothing I can really do. You know, if you hit the technique right, it's gonna work. Yeah. You know, so, it's very good, effective. Beautiful. Um, all right, guys, comment, uh, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this. Um, if you guys have more, which I know you do, I'm always listening, but uh, I'm sorry I can't get to everyone's questions, but I am trying, and I am watching and listening and reading everything. So thank you guys so much for all your support. All right, get out there and train. Don't end up like this guy. Calling for help sometimes is the only thing you can do. But right now, just think like this. You guys have an opportunity to get better and basically improve your own skills right now so that something like this never occurs for you. If you do end up in any type of pickle, I hear comments right now, oh, you shouldn't be grappling on the street. You shouldn't be, you know, yes, guys, who wants to get in a fight? I don't want to get in a fight. But the reality is, guys, you could be that guy ending up there. No matter if you're a police officer, you're an, an average everyday citizen, violence is out there and you guys could end up in these positions. And it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Just like that gentleman, all right? Don't be out there screaming for help. Go get your help right now. Get out there and train. Thank you guys so much. Comment down below and I'll see you guys next time with more great stuff. Thank you.